Hi guys, today I have another sort and photo card video. I actually haven't filmed a video in like a couple of months. But yeah, I'm gonna have to split this video up into three parts. So I have a miscellaneous one today, and then I have separate ones for Twice and Idol. So yeah, those will be coming soon. Let me just get started. So we'll start off with my bigger binders because I only have two binders to get out today. And we have some Kepler cards to put away. I don't really have much progress on the latest album. I do have the complete set for the Digipack. I wasn't actually gonna collect any pops for Mashrel for this era, but this is so cute. Then we have these three for the digipack. We'll just put this in the middle because it's the cutest card. And then we'll just put these at the top. And then I also have the Seraphim. And I think I'm completing Che One today. I'm actually completing a couple of collections today for Che One Anti Fragile. Last two cards. This is so, so pretty. I really like this card. I am thinking whether I want to collect the Weaver's version cards for Chewon and also maybe for Mingyu as well. For now, I'm just seeing Weaver's as kind of like a pop. And then we have the latest album. I think these three are the digipacks. I'm going to put these at the bottom. And then I have this pop from k Tan for You, which is transparent, so I put it in here. Let's put that in the middle. Because this is standing up, put that there. And we'll put this there. Oh my god, wait, I just realized these are the same versions. We'll actually put one in the middle. Next we have Yena. She's actually having a comeback in a couple of weeks and I'm so excited. I'm sad it's a singer album, but I'm excited for new music. And also the teasers look really, really good. I do have this last card finally. This was the other random phone tab photo card. So this is now complete. I just realized I am actually gonna have to get my other binder out because I have the M Wave Pops. These photo cards from, oh, The Night Magazine. It's a Chinese magazine and there were two versions. So it came with five cards. I'm just gonna do five on this page and then five on the next page. how I wanted this. I'll change this off camera though because it's a pain in the ass to take everything out but I feel like I wanted it a different layout. I feel like I wanted these in the middle because these are the odd ones out because white background, white background and then these pattern background. And then let's put away these two cards in my pop binder for Yana. I actually don't know if I have any spaces for these cards. I feel like I don't. I think for now I'm just gonna put them here. We have the two M wave cards. There was actually, I think there's another card but it was only given to people with a certain ending of your order number but I haven't actually like seen anyone have those cards. I probably won't end up being able to get that. Onto my four mini binders. First up, we have Stacy. I have these two cards put away. And I think I said in my last video, I really like these cards. I think they're so cute. This is the last digipack. And then up next, we have MX. So I have Lily. And I already put this one in. I have the Lenticular from the Limited. The foot card. I'm actually completing Lily today, which is so nice. I was missing so many cards when I decided to collect her. This is a pop. I think this is from JYP store. I think so. This is for Entworth. I didn't realize this matched because of the outfit as well, so that's nice. Two limited photo cards, so I have the last one here. I think I mentioned it a little bit in my last video. I really want to get up to date with pretty much all my collections. So obviously the newer releases I'm not like as stressed about, but I do really want to get up to date with everything else I'm missing. I have the two standard versions, so if it would focus, we have this one, we have this one, and we have the Digipack. And we also have the Digipack from the new album, which is Expert Girl. Expert Girl? Is that how you pronounce it? Then we have the limited character card, I think is what it's called. We have the limited card. This is probably my favorite photo card I have of her because the bray and the pink hair and it's just so cute. Just realized I'm like so out of frame, sorry. And then the last two cards, we have the standard versions. So we have these two. We are complete. We have Espa. So I did put this Ning Ning pop at the front. I am now going to be collecting Winter and Ning Ning. At this point, I think it's probably safe to say I double bias. I'm actually going to be seeing them at the O2 in September. So I'm so excited for that. This latest album is probably one of my favorite comebacks of the year and album. Up to the latest album, I have all of her cards. For the girls album, we have... Honestly, I cannot actually remember the version names. This is definitely one of my favorite winter photo cards. I also have another one which I'll show you in a bit. This one is so, so pretty. For this photo card, I'm a little scared that this one, I don't know, I don't know if it's just a misprint or if I have got scammed. The back, the gap between here and then the gap between here is like so different. But again, it might literally just be a misprint of the cards. If any of you guys have similar experiences with these from Savage, let me know. But yeah, I'm just gonna assume that it is real because I can't bother to find this card again. I think I said girls at the start. That was actually the Savage album. This is girls. Yeah, I really like this card. It's so nice collecting two members in this kind of binder because it just fits so well. I actually pulled this card. I pulled this card and the next card. 
in my original albums. And then, yeah, this one I also poured. I ended up keeping these cards. I also have a Karina card from this album, which I'm looking to cross trade for the new album for Winter or Ning Ning, the last cards I'm missing. So if anyone's interested, feel free to check out my trade. And then we have this one. And we have the Digipack. So that's what used to be the photo card at the front of the binder and I put winters away because otherwise I would have two blank spots. Then moving on to my world album, so this is when I start to have some cards missing. So I don't have anything, I think this is the zine version, the magazine version. And then I got so lucky I pulled winter for this version. I just need to get Ning Ning's. I think these are the intro versions. This is probably my favorite photo card from this album. And then we also have Ning Ning. You guys are actually entitled to your wrong opinion, but I think Ning Ning owned this era. Something about her stage presence. And then we have this card, which I think is the tabloid version. There were so many versions this time, so yeah, it's hard to keep up. I seem to be having better luck with Winter this era. I don't actually remember. One of these is the SM Mini, which I think is the other cards. Yeah, I don't really remember which version this is, but I have both of them. It might be the poster version, I think that was what it's called. So I wasn't sure if I was going to cut this or cut this for both, but it was really easy to guess. I have this section at the back, so I moved my SMCU photo cards to here. I really don't think I'm going to end up collecting Winter for this. I just need two cards, I think, for Ning Ning for the latest, but I do have these three cards. This is also one of my favorite. Also this one, by the way, for Ning Ning is so, so pretty. Yeah, this one I luckily pulled. I ended up buying a sealed album. I also pulled Ning Ning's postcard and Winter's poster, so I don't know, they really love me. So yeah, that's the only reason I have that. I think the plan was going to be to put this ID here, because basically there's five cards for the new SMCU and then I had space for the other four but what I'll do is I'm going to put winter here I actually bought winter's photo card with a stamp on it album and it's actually my favorite photo card from that era so I'm really excited to have that I don't know if I'm going to cut all winter's got the beat album photo cards because those are so hard to get and so expensive and then lastly we have Mingyu and I'm actually really excited because I've been missing so many cards of his for so long from face the sun onwards I ended up doing like an order on Macari basically I actually wasn't going to collect the Kino cards I ended up finding a seller selling both of his face the sun for like really reasonable price actually I'm just gonna put those in Seventeen are definitely high up on my list of groups that I hope come to Europe to tour soon. But I am going to be seeing twice. I'm so excited for that. I managed to get VIP. I don't know, it's gonna be insane. Finally see my alt vaults. I'm really excited. Also, Idol. They're coming here literally a day after I see the second concert for twice. So there is a chance I see my two alt group in the same three days. Like what the hell? I'm praying I have just as good luck for Idol as I did for twice. I saw ATs in February. They were really good as well. That was my first time actually going to the O2. And then I've just recently saw Pink, not K-pop, so lol. You guys probably don't care. But her concert, by the way, insane. I don't know, like she puts on a hell of a show. I was in awe of her. I just really want to go to more concerts. September at the moment, I'm going to twice, potentially Idol, which fingers crossed I get tickets. And then as well, two weeks later, I live my best life in September. Also, it's June, so hopefully I actually upload this in June. Happy Pride for those of you who are celebrating. <laughs> no, seriously though, I love you guys. I love the gays only. <laughs> what is this section? I'm just talking about anything because I don't know what else to talk about. This card is so cute. I actually really like the carrot versions. The fact that these pages are full at 500 years of me trying to hunt down these cards is so rewarding. We have the two Kina cards. Eee. Yes, they do look like Amal cards, so that's not slow, but still very happy to have these. I have this HMV pop, which I think I also put away off camera, but I need to get the Sector 17. Also put these stickers away. And then we have these three. I ended up deciding to put all of this outfit on one page and then all of the other outfit on the other page. I just feel like this will look prettier this way. So I have the two album cards. I think this is from the compact. Sector 17, I'm not gonna lie, has like the best photo cards for all the members. If I could collect OT13 for any era, it would be either this or You Make My Day. I love this page have these three also love these this is the look and then we move on to fml i think i'm gonna get extra stickers so i need to get two more just because it will help fill out these sections a lot better this is the a version and then we have the b version thank god he took loads of photos with this hair because i love this hairstyle on him he looks so handsome no matter what for the c version but then I have all the carrot version and put these here. I love this. 
And then lastly, we have the deluxe cards. I did actually put the group one on the back just so I didn't have to get another page just for this. Yeah, I have all the units and his solo card. I do want to try and get his mini bookmark for the deluxe. So I'll probably move that card that's on the back to another page when I get that. Maybe I'll get like two pops or something. I'm so happy to pretty much be up to date with him. I'm definitely planning to start uploading a lot more again. So thank you guys. And yeah, I'll see you next time with another video. Bye.